Hello and welcome to my review of this figure of Ray Ayanami released in December 2023 by Good Smile Company. The combination of light blue and white is beautiful. Here's how she looks like under two different lights, artificial light on the left and natural light to the right. She may have the most gorgeous hair I've ever seen on figure. I got it from HLG, it's a 1 7 figure. The base is entirely optional and is 1.5 cm high and 16 cm wide. The figure itself, without the base, is 13.5 cm high. Because the pose of this figure of Asuka is rather similar, I thought that these two figures may go well together, but that's not the case because this figure of Ray is 1 7 and this figure of Asuka is a real 1 6, so a lot bigger. Instead, I intend to display this figure of Ray with two other figures that I have now in storage. This is how it should look like. This display is important to me because the end of Evangelion, the movie released about 20 years ago, really came as a shock to me. As a result, 10 years later, when I started collecting anime figures, this figure of Asuka was one of my first figures to be a tribute to an iconic piece of media from my past. I don't refer with that display lightly, and it took a long time for the right Ray to join. What justified to me this new figure of Ray is that it's actually a figure of the new Ray. It's been so long, Shinji and Miss Ayanami. No, I'm not Ayanami. What's that? You're you're not? Then she's, she's a, a lookalike. Look this Ray is clearly interested in motherhood. The purpose of this early short scene is to establish that point. Hello, Doctor. Oh, Miss Matsukata. I know you're expecting. Please don't exert yourself. So, are these the two credits sent to you that you're looking after? Yeah, it's something like that. Take care of yourself, won't you? Right. I'll be off then. Okay, bye. This is reinforced when she looks at a pregnant cat. Cat? First time seeing a cat as well, huh? They've made the underside of the carriage thinned in. There's about ten of them living there. And it becomes a major theme at the place of the friends of Shinji. What, what is this? Oh, that's my daughter, Tsubame. Isn't she cute? It's human but small. Why did you shrink her? This is instrumental on how the character develops. What are you doing? Babies grow up by drinking their mom's milk. Sorry, Miss Lookalike. You can't. Not yet. I don't know. What would Rei Ayanami do at a time like this? You're different from Miss Ayanami, right? So you should do what you think you should do. I can be different. This contrasts a lot with what happened in the end of Evangelion. You can see why I would want to represent this Ray, a figure where she harbors a gentle smile while holding the spear that represents the power in this universe. A power that Shinji will hold instead at the end of the new movie. In contrast, the new Ray is free and more nurturing. It's therefore fitting for her to be depicted with a creepy doll when Shinji sets the neogenesis. The creepy doll mirrors her two-stud understanding of motherhood. It feels artificially patched together, like a Frankenstein creature. You're the only one left, Ayanami. I'm fine here. Another one of you found a place she could call home. Shinji, thank you. I'll do it, Ayanami. Neon Genesis. I think that Good Smile made the right choice by focusing on this depiction of Ray with the creepy doll. The pose is new, but she's protective and vulnerable. Her long hair also conveys that she was an attended for, 
contrasting with the other ray which has created her. It's evident that she was left to develop on her own. So clearly a great depiction, but what about the actual product? The box is 20 cm deep, 22 cm wide, and 24 cm high. I like that everything looks crisp, like the screws of the suit. The seams in the hair are not too visible. The suit is naturally glossy, the coloration of the hair is spot on. It is simply as good as I was hoping for.